Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and with December just starting, Samsung has pushed off a unexpected update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. And this is one that we didn't really need, but maybe it's very important to have because this one is still on that November 1st security patch. Now, if you remember, we updated the Galaxy S24 series back on November 4th. Now, what's interesting is that right here, November 4th, that was the day that I actually updated the phone. That was when I published the video as well. And then here we are, this one was pushed out and released on November 27th, but I wasn't able to see it until today, which is December 2nd. So it's very interesting to kind of see that there is a second update. And when you actually take a look at the size of the updates, so the one that we have right now is 610 megabytes. Now, the one that we had earlier this month was 446. So I pretty much added both of these up and it was just over a thousand megabytes of an update, which means whatever is included in this update was not ready to be launched earlier in the month of November because the Galaxy Z Fold 6, this one just got the update November 29th, and that size was over 1200 megabytes. So basically this one was late receiving it because it got the full entire update in one security patch update. This one on the other hand was pushed out in two. And again, very interesting to see that it was first released on the 27th. I didn't get it until today, which is December 2nd. This one right here was pushed out on November 4th, which was the day that we also got it and uploaded the video. So whatever is a part of this update right here must have been so important that they had to push it out before we got anything in December. My guess is, is because the, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Flip 6 was so large, more than normal. This one is also so large, more than normal, because it's split into two. It kind of tells me that we are getting ready for Samsung One UI 7. Now, here's the thing. We're in the month of December. That means in the month of January, we'll watch Unpacked. We'll be able to learn about the Samsung One UI 7 that's on the brand new upcoming devices of, you know, the Galaxy S25 series, whatever they're going to do for that. There's probably going to be some big stuff going on with it, you know, being the 25th or S25 at least, and with a new One UI 7. So I think that there's a lot kind of getting ready for that. So pretty much all we're going to do here is just hit on install. And because I already have the older versions of applications just sitting right here, we'll take a look at Samsung Home, we'll take a look at the camera, the gallery, the keyboard, and the internet. When it came down to the Galaxy Z Fold 6, this one did have a newer version of the keyboard, which was able to help if there was any issues, if there was like ghosting or keys coming up. We'll also take a look at the Galaxy Store, the Google Play services, and also the main you know, meat and potatoes of this video, which is the Samsung mobile security page. So because I already have the, the previous versions written down of what we just got, you know, back on November 4th, we'll be able to compare it versus this update here, which I'm hoping to see maybe a newer version of the keyboard. Who knows? Maybe a new version of camera. Don't know for sure. I kind of doubt it, but we're going to try to find something in this update. It's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and some of these deep dives and trying to see what is a part of these updates, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete. Now let's take a look at some of the older versions of some Samsung applications and services. So first off, when it comes down to a Samsung Home, the version before this was 15.5056. 15.5056, so no new version there. When it comes down to the camera, before the update, this one was sitting at 14.10117, so no new version there for the camera. Now we'll take a look at gallery. And just remember when I first took a look at it for the Galaxy Z Fold 6, really the, the keyboard was the one that I found at least. So when it comes down to uh, the gallery, it was 15.5024, 15.5024. Now we'll take a look at Samsung keyboard. So for this one, just to open this up, head inside of the settings, go inside of about keyboard. And this one before the update was 590054. This one was 590069. So same thing here, brand new version of Samsung keyboard. Now, finally, for the Galaxy S24 series. Now we'll take a look at Samsung internet. So for Samsung internet, before the update, this one was sitting at 26037. This one's now 270079. So it looks like a newer version for Samsung internet. 
So out of the five applications we took a look at, it looks like two of those five had a brand new version. Now we'll go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. I know that right before this update, I updated everything, so there was nothing sitting inside of here. Sometimes they just push the update to sit here rather than fill up the space and size of a monthly update. So nothing is sitting there. Now we're gonna take a look at the Google Play services. I remember last time this one was updated with the last one, so we'll see if it's updated here as well. For this one, we're still sitting on October 1st of 2024. We'll see if that updates to November. Let's go to download and install. So after all of this is all done, we'll actually re come right back here just to see if it still says October or if it now says November. Now, just remember when it comes down to these Google Play system updates, sometimes there's two or three updates a month with it. And sometimes it may not show the newest month, even though something is sitting there because that one was still a part of whatever they ha could have done in the last seven days of the Google Play system updates. When it comes down to Google Play system updates, it could be anywhere between your Android Auto, your, your Google Wear, your Android phones, and then uh, pretty much everything else as well. So there's always something going on in the background for Google. So taking a look back at it, we are still on November 1st. I'm gonna see if there happens to be another update here. And if not, then we are on our latest. So yeah, nothing for the month of November, at least for Google Play system updates. We're still sitting on October, but at least there was a small little update that we're able to do there. Now we're gonna go inside of that Android security patch level. I already showed this off in the past two videos. One of them for the Galaxy S24 series, which was around November 4th. And then the other one was for uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 6. That was just happened, you know, a few days ago on November 29th. So there's really nothing that I really have to Ooh, wait. I see December sitting right here. So you know what? Let's just take a look at December. So we don't have December yet, but Samsung has posted it. Uh, and let's see what they have here. So it looks as if, you know, the very top is all going to be the Google side of things. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six critical. When it comes down to high, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 high, none of them being moderate. Scrolling on down, this is where we would have everything on the Samsung side of things. So this is the Samsung maintenance release here. Looks as if there's only two of them that are high. Uh, and a few things sitting down here of just other small little updates that they did, you know, stuff with Samsung Dex, but there's not much. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks as if there is six of them when it comes down to the Samsung side of it. There's a total of eight because these six down here are not as high as these two sitting up over here. And these two from the Samsung side of it is working with a couple of them probably sitting up over here in critical or in here when it comes down to, to Google. So Samsung and Google always work together when it comes down to their updates. So technically there is eight of them for Samsung, six regular, two high. But that would be for the month of December and we don't have December just yet. So Samsung's kind of telling us what is about to be released here very shortly which I think is actually uh, kind of funny. So I tried to find as much as I could. We were able to find a few details for the month of December, even though they're not released yet. We also have a brand new version of Samsung keyboard and Samsung internet. And we also had a small little update when it comes down to the Google Play system update, even though nothing for the month of November. So we tried to find everything that we could uh, and we're just kind of getting ready for what's about to pop off earlier next year. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.